Some quick notes before we start with the tutorial. I'm trying in the next minutes to show you as much as I can so you learn the most from this tutorial. There will be 100% uh, several things that you don't know. So make sure to stay until the end. In this part of this tutorial I will show you how you can create this in Blender. Um, the most important steps. So the first thing, uh, by the way, I can't uh, rotate my camera so quick. I even uh, reinstalled Blender and it doesn't work. So the first thing is I will hide this uh, collection really quick and activate um, this navigation. Shift uh, one to uh, realign it. And then we go to file, append, and then you can download my Valorant model pack with all the models and uh, some instruction files. I will drop you a link uh, in the video description to my uh, pack. So there you can uh, download for free all the models. So after you downloaded it, you will uh, get this uh, free Valorant model pack. And then you can just go to your 3D folder and go to, for example, character and collection. And then you can import, for example, Phoenix. Um, then you click on this button and press zero and then you can hide here uh, the bones but you can uh, uncheck this and so you can hide here the bones. I um, changed the color a little bit but um, before uh, I go to file, append and um, get a 3D we weapon, so weapons and you can go to uh, sniper, uh, fire and this guy uh, okay this is already centered but uh, if not you have to center it and then in the object mode we can uh, then just uh, uh, place the sniper in spot and one uh, trick I will um, uh, go to Google and for example search for sniper pose and uh, then you can get some cool poses uh, some inspiration maybe I uh, took a, a, a picture from here too and then you can pose it. I will show you how, really quick how to uh, can pose a character. Just click on the character and um, then go to uh, pose mode. Um, maybe click the bones and go to pose mode and uh, go uh, unhide the bones. And then you can just um, click on this, grab the rotation tool and easily um, move your arms, fingers and everything you need. Yeah, that's basically it for the for the posing. For the next step, I will uh, delete this uh, because I have them already in my uh, other uh, collection. So I will unhide this and go to my camera. So basically how you can set up a camera, uh, a cool trick is go to add camera and uh, with uh, control all plus zero, you can make your viewport as your camera. And then you can just go in and uh, get out of the camera. So then you can uh, get a, a spot you like and then you can hit uh, Control, Alt and Zero. And then you see, okay, it's not everything inside. Go with Zero out of your camera. Scroll a little bit back and Control, Alt, Zero again. And um, yeah, we can move it a little bit uh, to the left. And then you see everything is inside of the camera. But I have already my own camera with my own spot. And there we are in my camera spot. So the next thing you should do is uh, go to your scene and check uh, ambient bloom and uh, ambient occlusion. You see what this does. And subway screen uh, space reflections, that's uh, good too. And then you go to your um, camera tag, uh, go to depth of field, check depth of field and just grab this thing here and click on the skin so the skin is sharp and then you can just uh, increase or decrease the blur uh, how you like it. And one thing I did is I uh, went to my skin and go to the shading tab and uh, in the object mode um, I uh, changed the color a little bit, you see this here. Yeah, uh, I changed it to a more aggressive orange, I would say, and I matched it a little bit more with the f uh, with the emission from the weapon, so it looks uh, better. And um, you can for sure increase the strength. Um, that could look uh, great. Uh, just try and error a little bit. Let's switch to the viewport tab and go to our render tab. So you, if you um, want to know how I like this thing here, that's basically just my Lightroom. I went to File, Append, and then you can um, get my 
Valorant Asset Packs. This isn't free. I will drop you a link in the video description too. But it contains uh, several things like Lightroom 4K screenshots for a great thumbnail perspective. And the Lightrooms, um, with them you can light your scenes in seconds pretty good like you see here. And for shoot some HRI which I used here, they are great too. So just go then to your uh, Valorant Asset Pack. Uh, I have everything in the folder that looks great. And go to Lightrooms, Blender and here Append. So that's basically um, the Lightroom here. You see with and without the Lightroom. That makes a huge difference. Maybe that makes the art uh, so good. And. Uh, now I would tell you, um, teach you how you can add your HRI. Just go to shading and switch from object to world. Um, for the background, uh, then you search for environment texture. And let me delete this. Um, you can then uh, connect the color with the color and open an HRI. For example, um, go to the asset HRI, the Haven HRI, and connect. Um, and then you can uh, add another object uh, with uh, shift A or go to add and uh, search. Um, uh, it's called coordinate, texture coordinate and connect um, the object with a vector. And uh, then you go back to your layout, add uh, empty and a plain X and call it HGRI rotator and in your shading tab then you can uh, select or you can search in here for plain or empty, empty, it's called empty. Oh, it's called now HGRI rotator, right? And then you can go to your um, HGRI rotator here and if you zoom out of the camera or you can just um, rotate the HGRI here. You see I rotated it to around this spot here have this I think that's what's great and in your render settings um, you can go to um, film and check transparent but I like this HRI at the background because then it's realistic because uh, the, these HRI light the scene and it's the background um, so I will keep it you will see um, in the render it looks good too so that's basically the HRI I will show you uh, the other HRIs too um, so that's a blind HGRI. Yeah, that looks cool too. Um, we can rotate it if you like. Uh, yes, that's a blind. Uh, we can go with a split one. But for this render, I will uh, keep um, the Haven HGRI. So um, that's basically, then you can go to your um, render tab and. Uh, um, can get your resolution and uh, choose your uh, safe destination. If you uh, use transparent, make sure to go with RGBA. And in this tab, check this uh, here and uh, increase the samples to around 1000. Um, more samples can be uh, reduced noise and stuff like that. And then go to just render and render image. Then make sure uh, to not close it because it isn't saved already. Go to image, save as, check RGBA, and then you can uh, just save your render, for example, render one, render two. And yeah, that's basically it for the blender part. And let's uh, jump into the Photoshop part. So I, uh, I will show you uh, several cool things in, inside of Photoshop. So the first thing is um, uh, when we had the render here, I, um, I duplicated this with Control J and make it uh, with old, press old and uh, press the mask button so you get um, uh, a black mask and then cut out uh, just um, then you can go for example with a brush, with a white brush um, you can then uh, just um, paint out uh, the bullet and then go to your uh, black and then paint out the bullet like so um, you can for sure be a little bit uh, more precise like so and then go to filter, uh, blur and then uh, motion blur and just increase it a little bit and uh, yeah then you have uh, this uh, blur um, bullet effect like this one here it looks more realistic and um, the next step is um, you can here's another really cool um, 
Valorant pack with all these packs with my free model pack with this free pack and with the uh, asset pack with Lightrooms, H Rise and 4K backgrounds you can make really great um, Valorant thumbnails and that only costs you around uh, 10 bucks so it's very cheap and the other two packs are free so yeah you can um, with, with just a little bit money you can use this uh, new game Valorant as a chunk yeah use it create good thumbnails with all these packs uh, it's pretty easy just follow the tutorials in the future I will drop uh, se several more tutorials for Valorant thumbnails so you can just uh, download this PSD and uh, I will open it by the way I will drop you a download link for um, this tweet from CISO in the description uh, and the download link for this pack and for the free model pack. So you see um, here we can uh, just uh, choose from uh, some objects. I already took these sand bags here and uh, just uh, put them before him. By the way you see um, this background already looks nice. Um, if this doesn't match sometimes you can just go to the assets pack and choose from uh, once from one for the, from the 40 screenshots I took there uh, 10 screenshots per map so the blind map have map split map and the split the old split map and for every map 10 screenshots in a thumbnail perspective for example here you see uh, they have a great thumbnail perspective and you can add your renders to them And the next thing I do is um, I made a little bit of uh, bright overlay here uh, just uh, with a soft brush. I tapped here sometimes and then added a, a little bit of, of an orange color. But you can also add a blue color that looks uh, good too because um, I used uh, orange and blue because they are complementary colors. But uh, this time I will choose uh, the orange tone and then a dark overlay. So the focus is absolutely on uh, him. And the sandbags um, are more matching right now. And then I uh, create a new layer and uh, just uh, go on the new layer and press uh, Shift, Control, Alt, and E. So you make a new layer with all the content and then uh, create a smart object. Go to filter, camera raw filter. And then you can uh, make a. Um, a great CC. Some important steps I did here is I increased a little bit the exposure and the contrast and the dynamic and um, increases the uh, structure. The, um, this here in English, uh, my, German, my Photoshop is in German and so it's uh, way more clear and then I uh, went to, uh, then you can choose from uh, these presets here, for example this looks really cool, uh, uh, this too but what I did is I added a vignette so the focus is absolutely on him and and I think I choose a, a preset here so you get this really uh, nice CC uh, like you see here and yes um, one thing I um, added then is uh, I, I want to google and just search for a sniper overlay and um, grab one of these screenshots here. Um, I think it was maybe this one here. I scaled it up and uh, just uh, made made this uh, crosshair on his head. So that uh, gives a little bit more focus too, because um, now uh, here it's it's more dark, even more dark. And yeah, that looks uh, pretty good. Thank you for watching the tutorial. If you ask yourself now what you can do now is go and uh, download this free PNG pack, it's great. Download the free model pack and if you like you can add the Lightrooms with, you can buy the Lightrooms HRIs, tutorials and Hutless screenshots for your thumbnails. With them you can create in seconds great lighting and have good backgrounds. With all these three packs together you can create amazing thumbnails. So make sure to, to get every three packs now. See you in my next tutorial.